Dear Adaptation Champions, it is my pleasure to address you at the virtual closing ceremony of the online executive training of young women leadership on climate adaptation. I have heard excellent reports of the course and the innovative micro adaptation projects produced as a result. Of course, the training has had to be virtual because of COVID, so you've never met in person. And yet, despite coming from countries across Africa, from Egypt to Zimbabwe, from Ghana to Kenya, from Nigeria to DRC, you have formed a cohesive group demonstrating the power and potential of leadership among young women. And I sincerely hope that with the skills, knowledge and networks that you have built, you will be now able to go and have an even greater impact in your communities. GCA, we are proud to work alongside our partners from the Ban Ki-moon Center, the Diplomatic Academy in Vienna, and obviously CARE Climate Resilience Academia to develop and implement this training program. Because it embodies a core value which we here in GCA deeply believe in, and it is that young people should have a central role in adapting the world to the impacts of climate change. And as important, that young women in particular can be the most influential agents of change. Why? Because young people and women are disproportionately affected by the climate crisis. And yet, climate change solutions are more sustainable when women are part and central of decision making. So the world needs your ambition, it needs your energy, and it needs your entrepreneurial spirit. This is why your work is so important. And this is also why GCA is proud to have youth leadership as a core pillar of our flagship program in Africa, the African Adaptation Acceleration Program, or AAAP, which we have designed and launched together with the African Development Bank. Through our Youth Adaptation Network, we are connecting and empowering young people to make the case for adaptation. And on action itself, through our Youth Adapt program, we launched the Youth Adaptation Solutions Channel, an unprecedented initiative to inspire and support youth-led adaptation solutions across the African continent. That's why that challenge is so important. And also, Youth-led businesses, more than half old, uh, owned by women, including millet fodders for smallholder farmers in Zambia, drought-resistant seedlings in Kenya, and even drones to reduce flooding in Cameroon. And now we're also working with our multilateral development bank partners, African Development Bank, World Bank, EIB, IFAT, to ensure adaptation jobs are mainstreamed into various country projects with a 30% target rate of adaptation jobs created. For example, with the AFDB, we are working to integrate adaptation into the investment in digital and creative enterprise program, a $618 million project to support the government of Nigeria in promoting entrepreneurship and innovation in digital technology as well as the creative industries. This project alone is expected to create more than 77,000 direct adaptation jobs, of which 40% are going directly to women. Because this is the scale of change we need, and I'm thrilled that you are part of this change and leading this effort. I look forward to hearing news about the exciting work you will be uh, doing going forward Count on us as GCA as a partner of choice. Thank you again and congratulations.